relax, recharge, and get outdoors. I'm telling you, from fishing to hunting, the Tennessee Wildlife Federation is going to give you the confidence you need to be to be the best outdoorsman or outdoors woman. Men. <laughs> they have an academy to teach you all the basics. Playing outside is their job. I love that. Welcome, Jeb and Taylor. Yes. Yeah, thank, thank you guys you. for having us. Welcome. To be here. Well, we're so excited yeah. to have you. Okay, so I have been fishing, hunting, but I've never shot anything. Um, and I feel like I should not be leading these expeditions, but I know that you guys can make me look like a pro. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's why we're here. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's, we're crossing <laughs> fingers. So I want you to talk about the Hunting and Fishing Academy. Absolutely, yeah. So the Hunting and Fishing Academy is just one of the many programs that we have at the Tennessee Wildlife Federation. And our purpose and our mission of what we're trying to accomplish is giving our participants hands-on um, practice in becoming an outdoorsman, an outdoors woman. Um, and whether you are a family with young kids, an adult that wants to learn how to hunt, we have something for everybody. So our main purpose, again, is to teach people how to hunt and fish and enjoy our natural resources. And we really have established this program on three pillars, and that's safety, education, and conservation. So we want to be teaching people how to hunt and fish, uh -huh. but we want to make sure that they're being safe, doing it the right way, and in the end, we're tying it all back to how those efforts really benefit conservation efforts in Tennessee. Okay, very good. And I heard we're going to tie some mean knots. Yes. Yes. How does this work? Yeah, so if you can tie your shoes. Walk through it, okay? You can tie your shoes. Sometimes I can tie my shoes. Then you can tie this knot. All so right, we're going to practice with this first. Okay, so what is this knot for if, if this I were is taking your class right now? any type right of fishing. Now. So you can do this for bass fishing on the lake or a creek, or you can do it for fly fishing. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you can tie a shoe, you can tie this knot. So if All you right. want to double it up, and then grab one end, so it's on a bite. So we're going to practice without the hook, and then we'll do it with okay. the hook. So you're going to make an overhand knot, like the first step when you tie your shoe. Got it. Got it. So now we're going to in introduce the hook and do one more step, and we're all done. Okay. Okay. So. Hello, hook. Right, you got to introduce the hook. What's the hook's name? Sharpie. Sharpie. Hello, Sharpie. <laughs> all right. So if you undo that knot, <laughs> if you undo that one. Undo this one. Yep. Okay. And then put this end through the eye of the hook. This buddy end? Mm-hmm. And then tie your overhand knot again, ah. just like you're tying your shoes. Okay. And take this long end and go over the tip of the hook there. I... Ah, that's how they get you. Oh. Like that. Well, all the way over. All the way in. And then as you dress it up and you pull it from the top, you make it look all pretty because the fish care. Gotta make it look pretty. Absolutely, right? the fish care. The fish care. That's the proper aesthetics. The, the fish care about the name so of the So as you see, it's a Sharpie. You have a Palomar knot, nice and nice. easy. So if you can tie it. Ready to Perfect. go. Wow, yeah. Jay, yeah. you are a true outdoors I really now. am. I really am. Who would have thunk? Exactly. Yeah. And, and if you're a, clearly a beginner like me, um, or if you, you know, have experience in fishing or hunting, you can become a master through your program as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we have, again, like I said earlier, we have something for everybody. So whether you're brand new or you've been hunting and fishing for a little while, we have any, anybody can come and participate and learn. And if you might be thinking to yourself, well, I, I've been doing this for a long time. Is there opportunities for me to give back? Absolutely. Cool. Um, we couldn't do this program. We couldn't run our events without our volunteers. And so. Um, for somebody that might be more experienced, there's plenty of opportunities to come out and work with our staff, to work with our participants, um, and share the knowledge and the experience that, that you've learned throughout the years as well. So um, our volunteers are great. We couldn't do it without them. And they also connect us up with private landowners across the state that give us a host site for hosting these events. Um, and that's one of the greatest things about this program is working with private landowners, working with our volunteers, and just providing an educational experience for our participants. Very good. And Taylor, I know that you say that you love doing this so much because of the response that you've gotten from participants. Correct. Uh, some of the most rewarding things that I've been able to do um, are receive emails and thanks after they've learned something. Because last spring I taught a guy named Tim in Columbia uh, how to how to turkey hunt, how to do basic stuff like pattern your shotgun, what gear you need, and how, how to find lands. Well, after that workshop, he was able to go out during the season and harvest his first turkey by himself. Um, and then he sent me an email with, thanks for your help. And so I get that weeks later afterwards, so it makes you feel like you did something. And then you uh, feel blessed to have a job to be able to share the great outdoors with men and women. And you're really and truly making memories that last a lifetime, really and truly. I'm sure a lot of families come out there. Absolutely, yeah. So 
Um, just to give a little bit more context on the program, um, that's one of the most popular avenues for people to participate with us is our family experiences. Uh, we take kids and their parents out and teach them how to hunt and fish. Um, as long as you're nine years old or up, you can participate in those events. Um, those are a great, great time to get out and work with you know real beginner outdoorsmen, uh, the future conservationists of Tennessee. Those are the folks that we love to work with. Um, and like Taylor said, there's no more rewarding experience than being able to work with a new family um, and then hear from them later on that, hey, we went back out and did this again. And uh, you, know, you guys really gave us the first step into building that confidence to go out and do it on our own. What can the outdoors do for a person? Talk about that because that's like a right. soul renewal. It's like church oh, yeah. to me. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest things is it just kind of forces you to slow down. I mean, in the hustle and bustle of today and how busy everybody is, schedules are full. We understand that. And we really like to market these events as an opportunity to, to kind of disconnect from, you know, social media, disconnect from just your everyday life and get out and enjoy nature and slow down and be with your family and other folks that value that as well. And learn lessons, again, Absolutely. that will last a lifetime and memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you both so much. Yeah. Yes. you got to get outdoors. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again. You can sign up for the Hunting and Fishing Academy. Just visit tnwf.org.